Welcome back to Jam Racing. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Uh, this is the cost of karting of what it cost me when I first got into it and uh, how my brother got into it and the route that he took. Um, the way I got into it was I was getting out of the military and I wanted to do something with motorsports. I've always been big into cars, racing, motorcycles, a big adrenaline junkie. So I started Googling about racing schools and a company called Endurance Karting popped up. Uh, they offered a school for karting. Uh, it was $500 for the day. Uh, they are traveling. They travel from city to city, track to track. So they were in Jacksonville. So I signed up, I went down, uh, spent the whole day with them, learning about the cart, uh, learning how to drive a cart, learning what a cart was. I didn't know anything about this. When people say go-karts, they think about a fun spot. Like ones that do like 25 miles an hour. Um, I didn't know anything more than that, to be honest. So got down there, had a blast. The next day they had a six hour event, uh, endurance, and uh, I jumped on it, I did it. And it was, a, it was a blast. I stayed with them for about a year. I went to the various tracks around the country with them. And then uh, about a year later, I got called, uh, got in contact with one of the parents I went to school with, and she said her nephew does this on a larger scale. Uh, he worked for TB Cart USA. Uh, Miguel Grandsaw. He called me, he said, hey, you know, check it out. Uh, we do something like call and arrive and drive. Basically, you pay a fee, which is $300. You show up and you arrive, you drive. At this point, you know, I was like, all right, cool, whatever, I'll give it a shot. I didn't have any equipment. All right, my helmet was my old motorcycle helmet. Uh, my jacket was the, my motorcycle jacket. I went in jeans, I borrowed a neck brace, uh, I went in my motorcycle riding shoes. Uh, I went out there to have a blast. They had everything set up for me. Uh, basically show up, jump in the cart, have fun. Uh, they taught me things around along the way. Um, they helped me set up, get gearing down. They were a blast. Uh, that day, I loved it so much, I bought the cart. Uh, it was a used cart. Uh, I paid thirty-two hundred for it. Um, and then people think you buy the cart and that's it. That's what I thought. <laughs> I had the basic tools, so I wasn't hurting on that department. But I didn't have a stand. I didn't have extra parts. I didn't have gearing. I didn't know anything about the sport. So um, basically, I bought a stand on Facebook Market uh, for a hundred dollars. Uh, and then I decided to buy a suit from Race Quip, another hundred bucks. So I needed a rib protector. I bought a rib protector, used fifty bucks, a neck brace for thirty, and bought miscellaneous parts here and there, which I would say around two hundred fifty dollars on tire rods, steering column, axles, uh, oils, brake cleaner, you know, uh, tires. Uh, OGP showed me their tire dumpster. And that's where I acquired most of my tires and where I still acquire my practice tires because they're basically brand new. People just use them for like two or three sessions and toss them in there. Uh, I'm too cheap to buy new tires. I buy new tires for the first local race of the year in Ocala and for the second local race of the year, for the second half of the year in Ocala and only for Anderson at SSKC because you need new tires for that track for some reason. Hopefully with the resurfacing, it doesn't, it goes a lot better. Uh, that's how I got into it. Uh, then there was a Father's Day event and I invited my dad and my brother to come out. Uh, they've been hammering pretty good, saying karting wasn't really racing and there wasn't that much fun. So Bushnell had a, a one hour Father's Day event. And they raced it and they loved it. So they came out and watched me at the Ocala event and then they ended up buying a cart. A, uh, a razor uh, it cost them eighteen hundred dollars complete we called the death trap because that thing was scary not in a good way <laughs> so Miguel I remember his first three mechanic gloves more second helmet and then like a, a jumpsuit he uses for work so we were out there we didn't know what the heck we were doing but you know TV cart was out there and they were helping us out so you know, we start learning about the sport and meet all these great people. Um, and that's how we got into it, basically. Um, my recommendation, I would recommend doing an arrive and drive. Let me go back. I recommend going to your local track. All right, go to your local track and see what they do. Ask around what most of the people 
with most of the carts they're on. Doing a ride and drive with someone. Uh, Risa Racing down at Homestead, they're Burrell. They do arrive and drives. Uh, Anderson, they do some arrive and drives. They're at Burrell. TB Cars there, they do arrive and drives as well. Orlando, uh, TB Car does arrive and drives. Um, Ocala, Ocala GP, TB Car. AKT is there, but I think for more support, they might, they probably might do arrive and drive. I'm telling you, you have to go out and check it out. Um, who else? Bushnell, they, they do arrive and drives. They're Margay. Uh, TS Racing does arrive and drives, probably. No, they do. I'm not sure, but local. I'm pretty sure if you ask them, they'll do arrive and drives too. They're VLR. So there's a whole bunch of manufacturers out there. GoPro Motorsports, MGM. I know they do arrive and drives. Tons of, tons of support. Go with what your track does. All right? That's what I recommend. If you're getting into sport, do an arrive and drive first because you're going to be spending some money. And if you like it, then do the initial purchase, buying the cart, buying your tools, buying the extra stuff you need, buying the helmets, buying the gloves, stuff like that. But first, see if you like like it at all or do do a class. All right, do a class. TB Cart does classes too. They'll do a whole track day event. They'll teach you about cart setup, um, dr driver coaching data they do a whole bunch of stuff uh the reason i'm with them is because you know now that i just don't do local events i do state events national events they go everywhere in the country if you want to do a rock event they're there if you want to do a schools event they're there if you want to do a uspks event they're there if they if you want to do the grands in newcastle they're there so they're everywhere now they're everywhere everywhere so it's that extra half a second to run up front with the big guys you need the support in the team. That's what I believe. Uh, other people might have other opinions. Uh, I don't know, that's how I got into it. Uh, Miguel, later on, we ended up selling that Razor because it was a death trap for real. Um, I sold Miguel my older chassis and then he ended up buying a newer chassis later. We stayed with TB because of the track support and they're local in our area. I say local in our area, I drive from Savannah, Georgia, but you know what I mean. Uh, find some friends because uh, when we first got into it, we were out in Jacksonville. They were all on Comet, and uh, we were out on uh, TBs. No way knew them, but now TBs are coming up. Uh, Comet's another great brand. I'm pretty sure they have something out in the Newcastle area. They're right next to Newcastle. Uh, Margay, they're they're all over the place. They have something as well. Just go to your local track, find out what they got. Later on, if you preferences here and there, once you start getting good about it, then you find a brand you like you try other brands but at the moment get a budget find what you like and then roll with it you know just get on track and then from there if you like it you like it if you don't you know get out sell it i'm always looking to buy um but that's the way we got into it uh the second part of the series i'm gonna make this into i don't know if i said this already two different videos i'm gonna tell you the cost of what it cost me to cart uh, a local event a state event and a national event so i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh again don't forget to hit the subscribe button like share uh, leave some comments down below um tell me about your experiences uh, and then maybe pm me and tell me about what it costs for you because everybody's cost is different because a local race for me is going to be a lot more for a local race to someone that lives next to a track to be honest because i have to burn a little bit extra fuel so Hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll catch you guys on track.